Hello and welcome to Understanding Astrology and Psychology Bridge series. In these series of videos, we are going to uncover the hidden layers between understanding the nine Enneagrams in the Enneagram system of psychological evaluation, which has got nine basic archetypes, bridging with the 27 nakshatras in the 12 zodiac signs of Vedic astrology. And we shall also borrow in from the 16 Myers-Briggs type indicators of personality into the 27 nakshatras in 12 zodiac signs. So we'll basically bring in the Enneagrams as well as MBTI models into the 27 nakshatras. So there'll be basically 27 videos of each. This is the introduction part of every video. And how we are going to cover that is by taking a standard format. This is for Ashwini Nakshatra, for example, where we are going to discuss the talents, abilities, ambition and fulfillment in career first. Then we are going to do some SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats to each from a personality perspective. Then we are going to have some keywords which are discussing the different career possibilities for such nakshatras especially if it's the Lord of the D1 or the D10. Best working relationships it has with other nakshatras, for example, this one has with Kritika, Rohini and Urikshira. And then we are going to bring in the Enneagram model types, three of them, which are closely matching with Ashwini kind of themes which we have discussed here. And later on, we'll also bring in the MBTI, again three types, which closely match with Ashwini. So now you can take this as a personality test. If you don't know what your MBTI type is or Enneagram type is, I have covered it in a detailed playlist on this channel in a separate playlist, which gives the description and Excel sheet with the free download link of each and every Excel sheet. And you can find out what your Enneagram type is. You can find out what your MBTI type is and then come to this one. Okay. The rules are basically the same. To begin with, you can start with these four basic sets of rules. How do I start? If I have my Vedic Astrology chart in front of me, the natal, the Navamsha, the D10, how do I start? Always first see the Ascendant Nakshatra, be it natal, D9 or D10. That's the first starting point. For empty houses, if your 10th house is empty or your first house is empty, see the cusp of that house and what Nakshatra that falls in. That would be also a good start because we are seeing it from a Nakshatra point of view here. Yes. Number three, for intimate relationships, marriage, see 7th house, 5th house, natal as well as D9 and the nakshatras thereof or the planets sitting thereof. Okay. For career talents, see nakshatra of the lord of the first and 10th house in both natal, navamsha and D10. Compare and contrast, natal is how you were born. Navamsha is how you turn out as personality later in life, post 32 or 36 years of age. And D10 is what talents, how you will be using the nakshatra talents in your career, in your business, in your job. Right? So this being the basic set of rules and introduction, let's get started. Now the 26th nakshatra of Udra Bhadra Pada, the second blessed feet symbolized by the water dragon. Remember Purva Bhadra Pada was fire dragon. This is the second feet of Lord Shiva, so to speak. And this is the graduation point for Saturn Nakshatra going into the sign of Pisces, into the sign of Guru. So it's a very, very powerful spiritual type of Nakshatra in and of itself. But unless we understand the crux of it, we will be fumbling with the other things. What was the Saturn Nakshatra? Saturn is the storehouse of all karma. So whatever planets and everything else falls in this Nakshatra is about giving, it's about donating. It's about donating knowledge in this case, giving out your efforts selflessly in this nakshatra, okay? And since it falls in the sign of Pisces, these people's lives will all be about giving selflessly. If you give selflessly without expecting anything in return, this nakshatra will do well. It will give you everything else that you need. I mean, what else do we need other than few clothes and some food to wear and place to sleep, yes? What was the energy of Uttarabhadrapada? If you remember... 
they are about realizing true emotional fortunes of life okay they can become scholarly counselors they can do with mysticism and occult although they can become lost in internal emotional turmoil so life lesson is very crucial for utrabhadra pata nakshatra finding emotional connect with external beings brings true spiritual essence inside so utrabhadra pata nakshatra wants to connect emotionally with the people with everything external in order to find true spiritual essence inside of themselves now what are their traits let's get into it utrabhadra pata falls between 3 degrees 20 minutes of pisces to 16 degrees 40 minutes of pisces the talents are they are compassionate they have an ingrown spirituality and they have grounding abilities include compassion spiritual growth and grounding others see the emotional connect ambition to be compassionate spiritually evolved and grounded fulfillment in career is in healing professions in spiritual type fields of work and counseling as well strengths are they are compassionate they are wise they have a deep understanding of human emotions falls in the water sign remember weaknesses could be over sensitivity emotional overwhelm and self doubt opportunities could be in hearing roles counseling and spiritual guidance something that this world needs a lot of threats could be emotional burnout conflicts from over sensitivity and self doubt keywords in career for utrabhadra pada people should be spiritual leader a monk a religious leader a spiritual guide and a contemplative life this is as pisces as you can get yes they could also do well in psychology careers as a counselor psychologist therapist mental health professional emotional healing fields right like the emotion code for example by dr bradley nelson wonderful system they could also do well in legal careers as a lawyer legal advisor law profession and legal consultant now you might say where does this legal stuff come in well it comes in because of saturn saturn is a legal kind of energy they are all about rules and regulations and doing the right thing that's what saturn stands for but coming into the zodiac of jupiter it calibrates to giving wisdom and in a water sign it all becomes about recalibrating the emotional body utrabhadra pada would be excellent if they chase careers about healing the emotional bodies of people one on one not so much masses this is not a moon sign this is more about one on one work with the people to heal their emotional bodies as a mainstream career and there are plenty of those now i gave you one example the emotion code by dr bradley nelson follow that now let us get into the enneagram type and what kind of enneagrams and mbti types what kind of mtbis are compatible in profession with utrapadra pada that is to say if your enneagram is of a certain type and if you have utrapadra pada nakshatra dominant as your d1 or d10 ascendant or 10th house lords and mbti as well same principles for mbti then you should select those particular professions let's get into those the first of the enneagram type matches is enneagram type 1 the reformer obviously principled purposeful self controlled and perfectionistic basic desire is to be good have integrity and to be balanced basic motivation is striving for perfection improvement and avoiding criticism centers of intelligence is the body and they are moving towards people therefore i would suggest for an enneagram type 1 with utrapadra pada nakshatra dominant in their d1 d10 d9 charts to go in for emotional counseling counseling the emotional body psychology career in psychology psychiatry counseling becoming a therapist mental health professional and so on the next enneagram type we have compatible with this nakshatra is type 5 the investigator now this enneagram has qualities of 
perception, very perceptive people, innovative, secretive and isolated. The basic desire being to be capable and competent, basic motivation, gaining knowledge and understanding the environment, conserving energy, centers of intelligence, the head and moving away from people. So they could make careers in legal industry, being a lawyer, an advisor, okay, legal consultant, more so on the mediation front because Uttarabhadrapada is more emotional, they can be good mediators also, okay. For the type 5 matching with Uttarabhadrapada. <clears throat> Last of the Enneagram type match would be type 9, the peacemaker. Receptive, reassuring, complacent and resigned. Their basic desire is to have inner stability and peace of mind. Motivation is to avoid conflict and tension and seek harmony and comfort. Centers of intelligence is the body and moving away from people. Psychology career, counsellor, psychiatrist, therapists, mental health professionals, emotional health professionals, that kind of a profession would be good for the type 9 Enneagram who matches Uttarapadrapada also as the 10th Lord. Okay. Moving on to the MBTI types, first of all, we can see there is a lot of I there, so they are introverts, right? Introvert 101, Uttarapadrapada, very quiet type of people. So INTJ being the first one, INTJ is the architect, imaginative, strategic thinkers with a plan. This one is very analyst kind of energy, independent, decisive, skeptical and private. They are highly organized, plan their days meticulously. They thrive in roles in work that involve strategic planning, problem solving and independent work. Common fields include science, engineering, strategic management. In this particular case, however, I would put them in the context of lawyers because lawyers need that strategic thinking. They are decisive and skeptical. Lawyers are skeptical at best about everything. They think the whole world is lying. Yes, that's the mindset. Next one is INFJ, the advocate. These are diplomats. Quiet, mystical, yet very inspiring and tireless idealists. Insightful, altruistic, creative and sensitive. INFJ seek meaningful activities into deep connections. They often spend time reflecting and helping others. They excel in roles that align with their values and allow them to help others, such as counselling. Again, counselling comes, so therefore, career in psychology, counsellor, therapist, psychologist, child psychologists counsellors of all kind, emotional mentors, there isn't such a thing but I see that coming now in the world. Third one and last one in our MBTI type is ISTJ, the logistician, practical and fact-minded individuals whose reliability cannot be doubted. Again, I see lawyers here. As a career path, responsible, organized, analytical and detail-oriented legal eagles once again. ISTJs are highly organized and reliable. They prefer structured routines and take responsibility seriously. See all the themes of lawyers with Uttarapadarpada here. They excel in roles that require attention to detail, organization and dependability. Common fields include accounting, law enforcement, there you go, and administration. You can even say lawyers is law enforcement with administration, right? They know all the codes of the legal rules and regulations, law, law of the land, so to speak. Right? So that's ISDJ with careers in Uttarabhadrapada. If you are unsure of what your chart has, you can get in touch with me. You can see the other videos as well. I'll keep putting content here to help you with your career paths in the future as well. In the meantime, take care, be safe and we will cover the next one, the last of the nakshatras, 27th nakshatra of Revati. Take care, be safe.